Hey guys, Ladybug Baby Dolls here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing off a haul of reborning supplies that I picked up a couple weeks ago before I started this channel. I apologize for sounding so quiet. I try and get these videos done when my kids are sleeping, um, but obviously if I'm too noisy, it wakes them up. So bear with me, turn your volume up a little bit if you need to. Um, so here we go. Now, um, there's just going to be a little disclaimer here. Some of the stuff uh, will have to be returned or I'll have to find a different use for it because it's not going to be quite right for reborning. And when I picked some of the stuff up, um, I didn't realize it was like the wrong stuff. So I've made that, uh, oh, I made that aware of myself now. Um, so no hate on that or criticism on that. I understand some of the stuff is not going to be right for reborning, but I figured I'd show it off anyway as like a newbie mistake. And maybe one of my viewers here will have um, something that I can replace it with or a link to some, you know, just to Amazon link that I can find or, or you know, knows of a Walmart that carries a certain product and can give me the proper name of what I need to look for. So with that being said, we're going to jump right down into it. So first of all here, I have a pair of small scissors, which is going to be good for when I hand root hair. I'm a personal fan, and I know it takes a lot of work and a lot of time, but I'm a personal fan of hand rooted um, mohair on babies, and as well, especially eyelashes. I like the mohair being hand rooted into the eyes, eyelashes, of, the eyelashes of the baby, um, hand rooted eyelashes. That was a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, um, so I got these because they're good for styling the hair, you know, so you're not taking a lot off, but if you need to trim a little bit, and especially like the eyelashes, these are thin and fine enough where you could probably just get in there, trim those eyelashes up and make it look nice. So that's that. And this will probably be an upgraded product in the near future, but this is all just starter stuff. Well, most of it anyway. So there are things that are going to be able to be upgraded or I can change in the future if I don't like the way that some of these things are handling. So the next thing I picked up was some tweezers. And I like this set because you have two different kinds of tweezers in there. Uh, more of a needle, uh, needle uh, a head tweezers and more of like a diamond head. So, I mean, you could use them for different things. Um, what they're really good for is if you are hand rooting eyelashes or you put a hair in the wrong spot while you're hand rooting the head of the baby, you can take these little um, tweezers and pluck that hair right out of there and restart it kind of over again. So that's good for that. These are another thing that I have questionable, but I figured if they're good for um, ingrown toenails that they're going to be sharp enough to cut through zip ties um, and I know a lot of reborn artists prefer zip ties and I understand why I kind of like the idea of the um, doll bodies that have the strings but this is something that I may or may not upgrade depending on which way I decide to go with it um, so that's that the next thing here is the exacto knife and this is good for if you have a, an awake baby, um, one with open eyes, in order to get those eyeballs in, a lot of reborn artists have to go through the inside of the head and make a slit in the eye socket, like the back part of the eye socket, and then slide the eyeball in and then re-glue it. So that is what this is for, making um, little cuts in the vinyl to make it easier and more professional looking for their dolls. We're gonna not talk about these just yet. We're gonna hop over here to the glue. And I got two different types of glue. I got the tacky glue here, which is good for if I wanna fight with, which I really don't, but if I wanna fight with um, stick on eyelashes, I can do use that for that purpose. And if I want to use this to maybe glue the inside of the doll's head, you know, to secure a mohair, um, that would be a good thing too. Uh, and if that doesn't seem to want to hold up, I have gotten highly recommended E6 Styles and Glue, which is industrial strength. 
and this bad Larry will definitely hold whatever I need it to hold. <laughs> so what one, what one might not do, this will definitely handle it. And if this doesn't want to handle it, I've got some Gorilla Glue downstairs and it'll take care of everything. <laughs> not that I want to use Gorilla Glue on my vinyl doll, but you know, sometimes things happen and you just get frustrated. I'm not going to say that I'm going to get frustrated with my doll kits, but I'm just kind of having some really uh, dry sarcasm. I hope you guys are picking up on that. I'm not serious. Anyway, these are the oops. But I figured I'd show them off anyway to kind of give people an idea of what they should avoid. But at the same time, the item that kind of needs to be bought. These are um, makeup wedges. And the mistake about these is, is that they are infused with vitamin E. The... Um, Makeup wedges that you need need to be not infused with anything. They just need to be plain Jane wedges that don't have anything in them. And I believe that aloe or vitamin E or anything that these are infused with, I think it messes with the way that the paint stays on the doll. So that I plan on keeping these for emergency purposes, not for reborning at all, but they're going to be replaced with some non-infused, just plain Jane wedges. And the next time I go out shopping, I will probably look for some plain Jane ones. So that's that. But I'm going to keep them for emergency purposes. So like, you know, I don't know. But yeah, so. And then sticking with the sponges here, I have the natural sea sponges. And I got the smaller ones. I have small hands and fingers. So I work best with smaller things like these little sea sponges I figured they would bring more detail some of them some of them may not be good for modeling like this one might not be that great for modeling but there are some in here that would be pretty good for um, modeling of the skin and that's what um, Reborn Artists buy sea sponges for because they're already kind of pre-hold uh, so it's good for modeling of the skin and they're good for a few other things too that's that now we're going to move over to my paint brushes here and i know they're not the world's best paint brushes so bear with me remember this is like a starting newbie a starting kit for newbies in the reborn world um and i may keep them i, I might like the way that they work other reborn artists might frown on it but you know it's whatever person's comfort level is and how well the doll looks at the end of the whole process so this um, particular one I got here, I liked because of this big fatty right here. Um, it's good for doing an all over uh, for the arms and the legs and the head, but it's also got some nicer medium tipped brushes in here for creases or anything else that I might want to do detail with. This one I got because if you notice here, it's got some very, very narrow tipped brushes, very fine brushes which is going to be helpful doing lips on ear creases and anything that needs fine, fine detail. Um, some uh, reborn artists use these finer tips also to create like those little red modeling veins uh, as well to kind of enhance them. So that's that. Now we have just a starting acrylic air dry paint. I have done all different types of paints in my life. I'm not a newbie in paint, so... Um, before you jump down my throat about it. No, they're acrylic and acrylic. Yeah, I, I know they're acrylic. I, I know they're acrylic. And to me, all acrylic is pretty much the same. Um, but I guess folk art here um, is recommended f uh, because I guess it sticks, this one of the better acrylics that stick to the vinyl of the doll much better than other acrylic paint. So got a thumbs up for me as well as some other reborn artists so i plan on getting some genesis genesis heat set paints as well but they're very expensive so i figured i'd like to have both because i might have a doll kit that i might just say hey i want to do air dry paints with you know or i might want to touch up a doll and and um that i've used air dry paints on before um and say hey yeah i want to touch this doll up so yeah i got them all laid out and these colors you see here, they're all going to have, th they, they need to be mixed with thin, uh, paint thinner uh, to give it a watered down effect to make the doll look more lifelike. So the intensity of all these colors is not going to be the same as when you see it applied to a doll. Um, so I've got a couple of fleshy tones here. 
um, some blush, blushy lip color here. And then on the end is for veining. Uh, these are not all the colors I'm going to have. They were sold out of quite a bit of it when I went to the store because that's just my luck. <laughs> so I have to either order online some other folk art paints or just hope that maybe the Walmart will carry them. Uh, I kind of live in in middle of nowhere, so to speak. So I don't. My choices of stores aren't aren't that great. So it's not like I can just go down to a craft store and pick up whatever. So I kind of have to rely on my Walmart to keep stuff in stock, which is not always uh, not always something that happens. We'll just say so. That's that. So that's just kind of like the beginning um, paints that I have in my collection here. And then speaking of heat set paints, if we look down below here, we have a confection oven and some reborn artists swear by them and others don't. There's a lot of, from what I've, um, a lot of videos and a lot of things that I've read online, there's a lot of controversy with uh, convection ovens versus other portable ovens versus your home oven. Um, so I got the convection oven, A, because this thing was uh, on clearance thumbs up and B, um not that it was any cheaper but you know it was cheaper cheap enough so I was like fine we're gonna try it and so then um there, there's controversy that when you're baking a doll that sometimes the vinyl can have a really bad smell or can cross contaminate in your oven or whatever I don't know I mean I've seen a lot of reborn artists just using their home oven and it's kind of like whatever, and they've never had a problem. Um, but I got this one in the off chance that if I don't want to run up and down the stairs every five minutes, no, not five minutes, but hypothetically five minutes to put the baby in the oven, bring the baby back upstairs, let it cool, do whatever. I figured this one would be good to have because it's small enough where if I need to put it up in a window or by the window while a nice warm day, that... I can do that and that way the fumes if there are any can go out the window rather than um, accumulate in my kitchen that does not happen to have a window right next to it so um, and again this might be a complete failure I, it looks like it's a pretty deep bowl in there um, or for baking or whatever but I don't know if when I put the doll kit in Obviously, I'm going to put a doll kit in before I even paint it or anything like that to see how it would work. Um, no, not turning it on or anything, but um, this is going to be kind of like a science experiment to see if the doll kit that I have get or what doll kits might fit in it because I might get a premium kit that might fit in that perfectly, not have any complications with, thumbs up, great, works out. But I might buy a bigger kit that's like a 20 or 22 inch kit and the parts might not fit in this at all, so without melting or burning or catching or whatever um, so i look at this as not only a science experiment but if it doesn't work out and i just have to use my home oven well now i have an extra oven that i can use for whatever i need it for that's also positive so yeah and i have a little update also about the ashton drake babies I just looked at FedEx a few minutes ago, and those dolls have been moving like the wind overnight. They are now literally in the state south of me that connects to my border of my state. So they're not very far away at all, maybe a couple hours away now. I would say at least three to four hours away. And I'm not sure if they're going to be leaving that pickup station tonight. And going to be up here by tomorrow or if they're going to be pains in the next and hold on to that the, them until tomorrow and then bring them up fedex has an estimated date of the 7th um amazon said the 6th to the 11th i know that they're going to be here on the earlier end of things so very well they could be here tomorrow so i'm hoping to maybe do an unboxing video tomorrow for you guys um, but it's not etched in stone as i don't know if they're going to be here or not FedEx is usually really good about, if, if they have a package for me, they're usually very good about giving getting my, my packages by uh, mid to late morning. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, hopefully my 
My babies will be here tomorrow. Uh, if not, then they'll be here on the 7th. Again, I'm really hoping that they're here tomorrow because I would love to do an unboxing and show you guys what they look like. And I'm just really excited to get my nursery started here and get this going. Um, I have high hopes for this channel and all the adventures that I hope to have in the reborning world um, and the doll collection world. And yeah, so hopefully you guys will see a video up tomorrow. If not, have some patience. There should be a video up at least by the 7th because I would love to do that um, box and opening for you guys. So stay tuned and I hope to see you guys then. Take care.